What's up, lovers? How are you doing today? Today, I am making a video about semen retention. Is it true? Is it beneficial? Or is it pure bullshit? Yes, um, people have been asking me to make a video about it. But as a woman, <laughs> you know, I wouldn't be able to tell you from real things if it's good or bad. So I've done some research and today I'm going to tell you if from what I found, if it's bullshit or if it's actually beneficial to you. I have a friend, he told me that is the miracle sauce. I don't know, but hey, I've done some research. So before we start, I wanna let you know that I created a Patreon at www.patreon.com slash manymonaco. So if you wanna schedule a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me, you can do that over there for whatever you wanna talk about. You can come over there. Or uh, there's more pictures, there's more videos, there's a bunch of stuff over there. You can go and check me out over there, please and thank you. All right, so I was wondering, is it the same as NoFap? From what I found, so it is not the same because NoFap is really for you to break away from your porn addiction. So if you are addicted to porn, which is not good, I think, uh, NoFap is good for you. NoFap is an anti-masturbation movement. The supporters of that are saying that avoiding masturbation for a prolonged amount of time improved their sexuality and their lives. So pretty much you are not supposed to touch it at all when you do the NoFap. So the semen retention is actually the opposite of that. You can touch yourself, do whatever you want, but you cannot come. That is what it is. So you can do a bunch of shit, you can fuck, you can masturbate, you can do whatever you want. You just can't come. That might be way harder. I don't know, you, you guys need to tell me. I don't know how it feels, if it's way harder to just not do anything or to actually do something and then stop. What's harder? You guys need to, to put it in the comment. I wanna know. While we are talking about dick, I wanna talk to you about Joy Mode. Yes, Joyma, do you remember the last time you went to the gas station and you saw those little pills and you're like, oh, I might want to try. I hope you didn't because with those pills, you can end up at the hospital. You can have a four-hour erection. You can have nasty side effects. Nobody wants that, right? But with Joy Mode, it is the time that you need to try something that's going to really help you. Joy Mode is all natural. So whether you are happy with your performance in the bedroom or you're unhappy, how about we get better? overall better. Joy Mode is a sexual performance booster. So just think about it as a pre-workout for sex. This is designed to support erection quality, firmness, and sex drive. Yeah. Joy Mode is here to save the day. So it's really easy to take. You open the little packet, you pour it in six to eight ounces of water, and you make sure you take it at least 45 minutes to four hours before you need to perform. So if you want to perform better, you go to usejoymode.com slash Melly or put Melly at checkout and you'll get 20% off your first order. Please go, go now. Mm -hmm. So there is three ways to cement retention. So you can do whatever you want. You can fuck, you can uh, get head, you can do whatever. But when you feel like it's coming, you're going to redirect your cum. So I don't know how you guys are able to do that, but when you're about to come, so pretty much you come kind of like on the inside and you redirect it towards your bladder. Come towards your bladder. To me, that doesn't sound very healthy, but that's a way. Unfortunately, there is not much uh, data on that. So I, I cannot tell you, but yes, it doesn't sound correct to me. Number two is edging. So pretty much you're having sex or masturbating or whatever. And when you feel like you're about to come, you squeeze right behind the head, right behind it. And then supposedly it doesn't come. So that's the second way. And the third way is no fat. So you don't touch it. So hopefully you don't come just like this, <laughs> you know, I mean, can you do that? <laughs> Somebody needs to tell me. I have so many questions today. Can you just come just like you're sitting down and you come? <laughs> Is it, I, I've never seen it. I don't think it's possible. But hey, so that's the third way of semen retention because if you're not touching it, not masturbating, not having sex, most likely you're not going to come. So I guess it's been a little debate between the two communities. So the NoFap was like, don't touch it. And the semen retention was like, yeah, you can touch it. You just can't come. So it's been a little back and forth between the two communities. At the end of the day, the two communities are talking about pretty much you don't come. So I guess they are talking about the same benefits. Like I said in the beginning, I didn't find a lot of data on this topic, 
but I found some people who are doing it, some people online talking about how it affected them. So I guess if it works for you, do it. If it doesn't work for you, don't do it. But I'm going to tell you some of the benefits people have said they um, encountered. Number one, increase motivation. Okay. Number two, increase energy and mental focus. Okay. So this one can be backed up by science because when you come, when you explode, uh, you release a hormone called prolaxin and once you do that, it makes you a little sleepy. So I guess if you're not coming, you have more energy and you can focus more, I guess. Number three that people are saying it boosts their self-confidence. Number four, reduce anxiety. Number five, increase memory and concentration. I guess because you are not so focused on getting pussy or watching porn, I guess. Number six, it says that it reduces the risk of premature ejaculation. So doing it less make you come later, like not in five seconds, but in an hour. I don't know. I would think, you know, you got to get used to the pussy and then eventually you can handle being in there for longer. I don't know. But I guess I could see that, that now you are more in control because you're not so much driven by your dick. So I can see that too. Number seven, increase fertility. Number eight, decrease the use of pornography. Okay. Number nine, gives you time for other pursuits. Yes, you got more time. And number 10, help you conform with your religious beliefs. So if you're in a religion where you're not supposed to fuck before marriage, then I'm sure that's going to help you. I found a study actually that says that it increases the quality of your semen, but they say you shouldn't abstain for more than 10 days. So you probably can fuck a bitch every 10 days, I guess. I found some physical benefits. Supposedly your skin is going to be clearer. It will increase your testosterone, more muscle mass, and more fat loss. Okay, hey, that, that sounds good. If that's true, that sounds kind of good. I found some spiritual benefits. You have a better sense of purpose. You can create a stronger and more emotional bond with the girl because you're not fucking her, so you're going to have to find something to like about her than her pussy you can really get to know her so that that's all i found i mean i think this is all over the place there is no real study or anything so i think it's really mental if it works for you do it if it doesn't don't if you feel like when you're not fucking for a long period of time you feel anger or you know a little stress frustrated all of this maybe you need to fuck but maybe for you on the other hand it's like oh i'm clear i'm delivered from pussy i can see other things i can focus on my career and not fucking chasing after bitches i don't know i think it's mental you gotta decide what it does for you if you think that you are too focused on bitches and stuff like that maybe it is uh something you should try so then you can refocus on yourself and improving yourself and not being so much you know after uh pussies and also i think there is nothing wrong with masturbating i think it's healthy and if that's something you want to do, I, I would recommend you fucking do it. But not if it becomes an addiction. I did find some scientific benefit of coming. It lowers your blood pressure. It boosts your immune system. You get better sleep. You're more relaxed and less stressed. It increases your connection with people. Because when you come, you release an hormone called oxytocin. That is actually the bonding hormone. So you're going to be more connected to that person. And the last thing, it reduces the risk for heart disease. That's pretty good. You need to be fucking at this point. All these, mm, I'll be fucking. And the downfall of not coming, well, you get blue balls. Because if you're going to play with it and then not come, it's probably going to hurt you. So yeah, but at the end of the day, I feel like I found more points on the, the benefits of coming. I think the benefits are coming uh, a little higher. The last study I found said that if you come more than 21 times a month, it will reduce your risk of prostate cancer by 50% compared to the guys who come only five or seven times a month. Shit. So if I were you, I would be coming at this point. So that's all I have for you guys. I don't know if I helped you. I gave you some pros, some cons. At the end of the day, you do what you do. I have a friend, he's an actor. And he told me once he start um, not fucking bitches, not masturbating or anything, he started booking everything. He just created an aura about himself. And when he would go into rooms, they'd be like, there's something about you. And in his mind, he was like, yeah, no, I'm not fucking. And you're feeling all of this. So I don't fucking know. It worked for him. 
I don't know, maybe you want to try it and let me know, but please put in the comment. Have you done it? If you have, has it been beneficial? Did you do it just for, I don't know, two days and you're like, yeah, fuck that shit. Please tell me. Let's talk about it. All right, guys. I appreciate you. Hopefully, you're having a great day. You can like, share, comment. You can uh, subscribe to my Patreon at www.patreon.com slash Monaco. You can also follow me on Instagram at medilovexo, Monaco, Meli. All the, all the melee that you can think of, motors, travels, all of that. Please and thank you. It's all in the description of this video. I appreciate you guys. I love you. I hope everything good in your life or you're getting there. I wanted to say, you know, shit is not real. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, that, that's another topic. We'll talk about it another day. But I think life is not real. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> you guys have a good day. I love you.